the fan reaction is, I mean, the women see themselves as Louisa Clark, and I think there is a vicariousness to to Will Trainer for them, and she blossoms and she comes really out of her personality to try new things. And so in classic storytelling, whether it be from My Fair Lady or, you know, George Bernard Shaw, Pygmalion, there's always that you experience. So we're living vicariously through Louisa Clark and through all her trials and tribulations. And I think that's where the smile on your face comes. It's always hard because a book is a book and a film is a film. And while you love to cl include everything in a, from the book, you know, sometimes choices are made. And, you know, Jojo was very involved with what was not, you know, that we couldn't include. And, you know, everyone's going to go, what happened to? But if the film works, you won't remember what you missed. There's a lot of humor, and there's a lot of perkiness of Louisa Clark and eye candy in her outfits and Will's comments and asides about who she is. And so I think that you walk a tone tightrope because you can't be maudlin. You have to work against it. It was interesting, the casting process, because to Thea's credit, she, you know, her background is theater, and she's one of the most renowned theater directors in London today. And talent gravitates towards her, and she gravitates towards talent. And as she was going through the process of finding the right Louisa, and it's, a, it's about chemistry between Louisa and Will, and finding the right combination, she had sent me a still that captured Will and Louisa. And it was very simple of Amelia and Sam sitting on a couch looking at the script. But you could see with, you know, the old adage that we get tired of hearing, a picture says a thousand words. This picture said a thousand emotions. And I remember calling her and saying, that's it. He took it extremely seriously, and he had a coach. He found out he visited the quadriplegic wards, and he worked on the chair, on how to do the chair. And as I mentioned, how he did his hands and positioned them. It was very eerie. And there, you know, how what he could do with his neck, and he really, he made it so natural that you didn't feel he was acting it. And it's, it's added to the pathos of the character.